Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. The greatest, the greatest hindrance that God will have in implementing His purpose in your life is that you are not absolutely yielded to Him. So you are yielded to Him a little, and you also have allegiance to Ogugu in the village. That is going to obstruct the scope of His authority that is being administered over your life and the, the jealousy of God will be provoked in that situation because God will not have the opportunity to implement his program to the full extent. Instead, because you have not given him the full ground to operate in your life, um, he will even begin to judge you. His nature of jealousy will release him to become an object of judgment over your life. Because you've not given him the place for him to exercise his intention. In order for God to have legitimacy, to demand that you submit to him totally, he arranged for the procurement of your salvation by himself and paid your bride price through the blood of Jesus Christ so that he can have that level of legitimacy that he needs to implement his program in your life. So it's therefore illegal for a believer whose salvation was procured through substitution jesus released what he was and became what we we were so that we can release who we are and become what he was it's supposed to be an exchange program there's supposed to be an exchange that will be accomplished through salvation because it was procured by the wisdom called substitution so when someone gives his life to Christ and instead of him allowing God to do through him what God wants and he decides that he wants to be what he wants and he has received salvation, it is a state of illegality because salvation was gotten through substitution and he's therefore not supposed to live his life in the current state powered by his own will but his life is supposed to be powered by the will of God. This is the reason why there are believers that God will resist. Because the person is going against the principle for which and through which and by which God was. God procured their salvation. Now, this is what God says. He says, um, he speaks about idol worship. When we create substitutes instead of him instead of us to recognize according to the book of colossians where i read to you yesterday the bible says that we are complete in him who is the head of principality and power we are complete in him the reason for that statement we are complete in him is to make you understand that uh uh uh, you are complete so you don't need to add Ogugu to the equation you are complete so you don't need to add marine powers to the equation the moment you do that you have provoked God's jealousy and God is going to administer judgment because you are praying on his rights you are praying on his domain you are praying on his property have you ever imagined how a married man that loves his wife like myself will behave when you try to violate his wife in front of him think about it even the gentlest of men you might find him operate in a strange way the reason is because jealousy is involved any kind of love that does not accommodate jealousy is not true love. Hallelujah. You are not following me. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it doesn't accommodate jealousy, it's not true love. Because jealousy is saying, I want to have you all by myself. It is, it is when that situation is fulfilled that I can manifest my good pleasure in the fullest extent through your life. So that's how God is. He is. He's a jealous God. 
So, if by any means we have uh, an idol that is taking the place of God, he is giving us an insight into what will happen. He say, For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Now, I need to explain a little. And the reason why I need to explain is because um, if any man be in Christ, it's a new creation. All things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. That's a scripture that we normally present in such matters. But I need to show you um, the matter here. I want to keep the name of the person I want to talk about secret. There is a very powerful man of God that used to preach in Nigeria some years ago. And this powerful man of God came to the city of Kaduna to preach. The, the organizers of the event that he was coming to minister went to the government and got security for this man of God. The orderly or the personal security that was attached to him, it is through him we got this information. So they were in a, a particular location because I believe that the, the stadium, Kaduna Township Stadium, was the venue for the event of the crusade. So they were within one of the cubicles in the stadium. And some individuals that were from another faith did not want the crusade to hold. So what they did was that they paid some homeless young individuals to begin something like a protest and a riot. The policeman that was his personal assistant was close to him when this man of God bent his head quietly and said, Lord, make all of them blind. I'm talking about something that happened in Kaduna, not in heaven. It happened among the sons of men. Make The prayer was not very audible, but because the security guy was standing by his side, he heard every bit of the prayer. Make all of them blind. And instantly, all those people that were doing something like a riot went blind instantly. Wait, I've not finished. Do you know that those blind people, they married and they gave birth to blind children and those blind children are still there today? Yes. Name of preacher with hell. Those children are still blind today. There is a part of the city of Kaduna where they stay. The, the policeman took his, his son, that was a notorious man, took him and drove him to that place and see, see the children of the people that the man prayed against. They were born blind. That was part of what influenced his own work with God. Are you still following what I'm talking about? You are, not, you, are, you are not with me. Now, may you understand that... that uh, okay, so I will not go beyond that. Those guys are still there till today. And the reason for their blindness, transgenerational blindness, came because someone prayed and invoked the jealousy of God. You know, many times when we talk about the jealousy of God... Um, Many of you don't know how potent it is when it goes to work. Like I told you before, do not trivialize any direct word spoken by the mouth of God. Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now.